Hi guys, Judy here, walking my dog. Got a really good night's sleep, and I'm uh, already done with a lot of most of the homeschool work. Got home a little earlier, so ah, uh, I love it when that, that happens. And I gotta, if we're here, I have to get up at five in the morning to drive to the city again for more dental work. So no, no fun there. But alas, we may be home anyway. So guys, blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I'm recapping my day. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to focus. Okay. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I, I watched the video today from Christopher Green and everybody else, Dabu7, and everyone is reporting on the monster hurricane, whatever they're calling, biblical proportions. And I can see why God had me make that video, the last video I made, about God says you won't be here for any of this devastation. Marty, come. Don't go too far. And um, I'm glad because I got prompted. You know, I was listening to some bad news while I was making dinner here in Cali for my son. And I we have an early dinner when I get home early. It's nice. Um, I was catching up on all my news, all my bad news, which gets me in a good mood because it just means we're going home sooner. But it is a little increasingly frightening. Now, and here's the thing. I'm so glad we have that promise from the Lord that he gave a 10-year-old prophet. Because honestly, you guys, I'm, I'm, that's my number one, like, sin and area that I struggle in is worry. Okay? Like, um, just a worry wart. You know? Like, if there's anything to worry about, I will. Like, I'll find it. If, I'm, if everything's fine, I'll, I'll, whatever. So, in my journey in life. I've gotten so much better in so many different areas as I've received God's love and, and care over me. It's probably fallout from being abused and having no one care for me. I had to take care of everyone and everything and myself and at too young of an age. I, I see the origin of it, so I'm nice to myself. But anyway, I was just, if I didn't have the promise from God, I'd start worrying about you. I really would because I have, I know a lot of you in Texas now. Some of you I just know, you know, from comments, but some of you I've gotten to know, like Michelle, who came to visit, and Carol, I've known her since 2013, and there's a bunch of you in Texas that I've gotten to know through private messages, and Greg Bosick, and oh, gosh, there's so many, I can't even think right now, sorry, um, and so when I saw that monster biblical proportions, you know, Texas, and I know Texas, you know, is large, like California, it's just a, it's a big, it's a large state. Um, I would have worried my instant reaction would have been, oh, you know, and, um, but I'm not worried because I already know the promise from the Lord, you know, there's going to be nothing of biblical proportions while we're here, guys. <laughs> they don't even know what's coming. <laughs> I'll tell you, you'll know it's biblical, the true definition as soon as the bride leaves, but yeah, hurricanes coming this and that. And of course we pray ye for one another. I pray for everyone. I, not just my friends, I just say thank you, Lord, that your hand is in this hurricane, and as in all the natural disasters and the tornadoes and the hurricanes and the earthquakes and the mudslides and all the things that have gone on since the beginning of time, since sin entered the world. You know, and, and we trust the Lord in all of those things. Marty, come, sweetheart. Um, and you just you just live an absolute worry-free life. I'm, I, I've done it in a lot of areas, you know. Um, and I... I'm getting better at it, so much better. Oh my gosh, when I was a little kid, I used to have hives really bad. I would just itch all the time, out of nerves, you know? And um, anyway, I'm a proactive type, so I'm a proactive worrier. So like, if I see something, I wanna fix it and work on it right away, you know? And, um, and I'll tell ya. <laughs> You're going to be fine, you guys. Everyone in Texas, I love you. The Lord's got his hand in it. Nothing's going to touch you. If, if you're a bride, you say no. Nothing will touch me or my family. And this is will serve to wake people up. Rejoice with the Lord as he allow, allows these birth pangs. This is not his judgment yet. I don't care what people say. He told my son, my bride will see none of my judgment. None of it. Not, not, not any of it. So... I don't know what your theories are. I don't really want to get into it. I just, I'm relating what he told a 10 year old prophet sign. I, I will never doubt. Okay. He don't have it. He didn't have a PayPal. He didn't have any, you know, it's just purely pure innocence, pure beauty, pure God. Um, so, and that was in the last video. 
listen to it over and over again. There's a few things, you know, that I left out. I just was being led by the Lord when I made the video. And, you know, um, he also told my son all the kids under 18 are going, um, with the exception of a few teenagers who knew better. With, no, with the exception of some teenagers who knew better, he told my son. He said, Mom, God said everyone under 18 is going, with the exception of a, some, some teenagers that knew better. So, um, take rest in that. Okay. God's still going to save them, though. Just because they get left behind, everyone thinks it's over. No, the tribulation is his mercy. He told my son most of creation in the end was going to be saved. So, if you know for sure you have people being left behind that you love, rejoice because they're going to be saved. You, you claim that in prayer. And you believe that people like me and others who've been called to come back during the trip with our glorified bodies to work the greatest harvest that the world has ever seen. You believe that we're going to do our job for you on behalf of your family. Our, in America, America's judged first and destroyed by fire in a 24-hour in a, in a period. You know, in one hour, she's gone. But it's a 24-hour period. When he told my son the order of events, he said... He saw two 24-hour periods. One 24-hour period was the, you know, the, the fire and brimstone on the day four, and day five, and the next 24-hour period, you know, was the the nuclear war. Anyway, um, so just know and understand that you know we won't be working in America for very long. It'll be uh, two days. We'll come back on the fourth day after the three days of darkness on earth and the three day wedding in heaven. That, those occur simultaneously. And on the fourth, so we, we work, we work in America if you're a comeback for two days only, two 24 hour periods. And that's, that's what he told my son when he told it to him. He said, he, he said it was 24 hours. Um, so those are literal two days is how he told him and how he led us to believe. Come here, baby. I see your ball. Look at, he found a ball. You just come over here. You go get that ball. You go get that ball. He loves to find balls. Just any kind of ball. It stinks like a skunk. He loves it even more. <laughs> anyway, that's my 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 dog. He's a service dog because I'm a rapture retard. I needed one. Let me tell you. Here you go, honey. Go. When I was filling out the application to have a service dog, I was like, I totally qualify. I'm totally insane completely a freaking you can lock me up for my beliefs you know insane for Jesus in a good way but you know if I was to sit back with a, a carnal mind or an unbeliever and look at the things I'm saying and the things that how I've been living since 2013 it does look nuts but I know what it is so it's not nuts um, but I totally understand people that think it is which is why I don't go around telling people and please don't tell people to come to this channel unless the Lord tells you because I don't tell anyone I know about my channel and I my brother found out about this channel I said don't you dare tell anyone else in this family don't you dare it's not fair they wouldn't understand the Lord will bring the people he wants don't go advertising I'm not trying to get subscribers or anything this channel was not about that about giving the Lord's messages till he gets here encouraging the bride and 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 God told me to carry on what he did to my son in 2013 continue to give that pure undefiled message straight from him from God from God's mouth through a 10 year old to you guys um so wipe away your weird your your fear and worries go get the ball honey and rejoice okay um so there's, there's a lot of things he told him, but I, they just come to me and then I make videos. Um, okay, so I know you're wondering, how can a teenager, how can everyone under 18, but they're not lovers of God they, and lovers of one another. They're, they're being taken because they're innocent, God said. Yeah, they're, we're all born guilty, but they just, they were born into this evil time and they don't know their left hand from their right. So they're going, but they're not going to the wedding. He's bringing them to a place of safety. That, that's, that's what I think. He just told my son they're all going, but in the rapture. But that doesn't mean the wedding, okay? So I've come to some understanding. I've, I've prayed about it that, yeah, he's going to take all the innocents. But the wedding is reserved for people who, you know, love God and love one another. And they understand what it, what it is to consummate with their creator, okay? So I feel like 
if they had a, you know, they were a teenager with a pretty mature mind, like 16 or something, and they, they're getting spared from judgment because they, they didn't know better. So they're going to, a lot of them don't. Okay, you guys, I don't care what you say. I teach at a high school. It's high risk. I'm telling you, it's very evil. People don't even know, like, anything about righteousness anymore. It's so sad. So, yeah, they're innocent. Yeah, you could look at them and say, they're not. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing. I'm not saying they're stupid. But when you have two parents that are gay and tell you gay's okay and they, they love you and care for you, you can't hear some Christian saying what, you know, what we, what the Bible says. These are people that take care of them and love them. It's just a it perverted generation. They don't know the right hand from their left, okay? So, yes, I always preach what the Bible says when, as God anoints me in, in his timing. But do you see what I'm saying? So this, this child who thinks that's normal because that's all they've known is getting taken, okay? Plain and simple. God's a lot more kind and loving than you are and than I am. He's really sweet, okay? So if anyone thinks that he's just going to kill a bunch of people, you're crazy. I mean, he does, but he'll save their soul before they die, okay? He, he has to. He, people are going to die, but they're, they're going to live eternally if they accept his redemption at the very last second. The Bible says, he who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. didn't say you have to walk through a sinner's prayer. All you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord. Help, Jesus. Help, I receive you. Help me, God. That's good. All right, I'll save you. All right, I'll save you. And he will. Because he wants to save anyone that calls on him. Even if they don't even like him, they just call on him. He'll save them. And they'll get to like him in heaven when they get to learn all about him. My point is they won't go to hell. So, um, anyway, um, there's going to be a lot of that going on and, um, a lot of people calling out the last, last second because they're scared and that's, that's, that's okay. I called out to the name of the Lord when I was 16 years old in my bedroom about to commit suicide because I kind of felt like I was ready to do it and I had everything ready to go. But I had this inner nudging that I just needed to give God a chance. If this, if this people, this God that people say is real that I'd heard about is, then he'll stop me. You know, or so I just had something in my head that I've got to at least give him a chance. So I did. I, got a, I asked him, if you're real, make Marty come to make yourself real. And then he did. So then I didn't kill myself. He did it within like seven days-ish. He did it. It was really cool. He didn't do it. The second I asked, but he did it within a pretty quick time frame, and he filled me and, t and filled me with love, and <sighs> believe me, it was amazing. And that's why I'm changed to this day, because of that love. And love is the greatest power, and those of you that are always looking for other stuff, prophecy and this, and how did Judy know that? I want that gift. No, love. See, I know things because I, I'm in love with God, and we have this loving relationship, and be out of his great love, he'll tell me. I'll, I'll operate in the prophetic and he'll tell me things about people in order to encourage them and edify them not to be their their personal prophet you know because he wants you to go to him but I'll do it because I have this love thing going you know so anyway those of you who really want his power and you want to operate in all these powerful amazing gifts and stuff walk in love it's the greatest power it's the greatest warfare I call it joy fair just walk in love peace and joy love people like crazy and you'll have a strong anointing Okay, if you want the anointing, that's where it starts. So, um, God is love. Remember that. <sighs> Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He's comforting his bride, even now. Yada broke. Holy Spirit of mighty Jehovah God, comfort your bride. And I ask you to erase all fear of what's to, you know, of what we're seeing on the news and fear of this and fear of that. You told me that's why you want me to make that video yesterday because it's going to get, we're going to see more and more things in the media about how scary it is. But we know it won't, that none of these things will come to pass the way they're, the way they're saying it until we're gone. We know that, but God wants us to know that you guys, he wants you to know that. I know it because I was here when he fell on my son. Know that you know that you know that you know that God not going to let one hair of your head be touched if you're his bride. You're not getting touched until... Mar Marty, come! Oh, there he goes. He's in trouble. Mar